Fire signs, welcome back. This is the Empress with Empress Speaks. All right, so today we're going to take a look into how does your ex feel? Yeah, we being nosy, we being nosy as hell. We're going to find out what's going on, what they thinking about. The first card, guys, is going to be um, the breakup, what happened with the breakup, how they feel about the breakup is going to be the second card, how they feel about reconciling is going to be the third card, and the fourth card is you guys' best course of action to take. All right, so these are going to be general reads. They will not resonate with every single uh, fire sign, or they're not going to resonate with everyone. If um, I also want to let you guys know that I've also posted February's monthlies, um, so you can go check out your sign video as well. You're, don't forget to check your moon and your rising, as well as your Venus signs, okay? All right, so let's hop into it. We're going to pop it off with Aries. We're going to see what's going on with Aries. How does Aries X feel about Aries? You can go ahead and spark it. Aries. Let's see. How does Aries X feel about the Aries? Huh. Bottom of the deck, guys, we have the Fool. All right. Which is the Aries card. Um, there's like a final decision, like with the judgment card. It's like, should I take this chance again? Should I take a risk again? This is what I'm feeling. Somebody was very possibly immature and very hasty, or someone was working a lot, going back and forth to work. Somebody could have possibly been like away on work. Could have been dealing with a Libra or a Aquarius, Gemini Aquarius. But there's like a balance of work. So maybe some of you guys work a lot. Maybe I feel like you work too much. It's like going back and forth and working is what I'm getting. Trying to balance out work. Um, I'm definitely getting Aquarius energy really, really heavy here. Okay, so... How they feel about the breakup. We got the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy. But um, I'm getting Virgo as well. So I'm getting Aquarius and Virgo's energy. But it's like hoping for stability. Hope you find what you're looking for is what I'm getting. It's like hope you find stability. Hope you get what you're looking for. That's how I feel that how, they, how they're looking at this. We got King of Pentacles, the Star card, and the Hermit card. It's like... Hope you find what you're looking for, stability-wise. It's like, you okay, you want to work a lot. You want to try to balance out work. But, okay, I hope you find what you're looking for. I'm definitely getting Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy really, really hard. Some of you guys are dealing with air signs. But I'm getting Gemini really, really heavy, too, because how they feel about reconciling. We have the Lover's card. But then we have the King of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Somebody is cutting somebody off. Cutting someone out. They're being blunt in a way of, of how they're doing it. Like, they're being cold. So, I'm sensing, like, right now, for the month of February, then I feel like they don't want to hear it. There's still a connection here. Like, they're making a head over heart decision with that lover's card. And I feel like they're thinking logically, and they're like, no. I'm, this is not what I want right now. So I feel like the best course of action for you guys to take is the Nine of Wands. This is keeping your guard up. They're going to be coming to communicate with you or like even if you want to reach out with them, I still feel like you don't need to let your guard down just yet. Because I'm telling you, they're coming with this King of Swords energy. And this is very like cutthroat and blunt and to the point, straight to the point. They don't care about your emotions. They're coming forcefully and they're going to say what they need to say and they're going to speak their truth about how they feel. And it, the Ten of Swords is backing it. So this is an ending. Okay. And I feel like the best course of action is for you guys to watch what you say to them or watch how you say what you need to say to them because they're really, really cold right now. They're upset about something and I feel like it possibly has something to do with work. Like they may feel like you work too much. It's definitely what I'm getting. 
Okay, so let's look into. I did Aries, so we're going to do um, Leo. So we're going to do Leo's. How does Leo's ex feel about Leo? Hmm. Just like I told you guys in the beginning, the first card is about the breakup. Um, the second card is how they feel about the breakup. Third card is how they feel about reconciling. And the fourth card is going to be you guys' best course of action to take. So this is Leo. Leo for the month of February. How does Leo's ex feel about Leo? Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. But this is temporary energy. And this is like back and forth. Uh, I'm getting like Ace of Cups and the Knight of Wands. This is like a temporary feelings. Temporary emotions or back and forth feelings. Like hot and cold. Like one day they feel like this and next day they feel like that. So let's see. Oh, we got the Strength card. It was the first card. So that's the Leo card. So let's see. Oh. Someone had the courage to leave or move on. Some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer. I'm getting, I'm getting all of the signs actually here. So it doesn't matter which sign. Um, I feel like they could also feel like you gave them a runaround too. Like someone feels like someone gave them a runaround. Um, how they feel about the breakup. They moved on. Or they feel like you moved on. It's like they have gotten over heartbreak and sorrow and they're happy now. We got the Six of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. So they've moved on from the heartbreak and sorrow. Like, I feel like they've gotten over it. How they feel about reconciling with you, Leos, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. This to me is like rejecting calls or... They feel like, feel abandoned. Like, they feel left out in the cold by you. I feel like there's a lack of attention. Like, you're not, they don't feel like you've been giving them any attention. So, the best course of action for you to take, guys, we have the Eight of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. So, this is saying walk away from this situation. I feel like it's done. Um... I do feel like they've, I feel like they've moved on. They either feel like you've moved on or they have moved on. They have gotten over this. Someone feels like somebody gave them a run around. Um, and I'm just sensing like they are over it. They are over it. Okay, so let's go to Sagittarius. How does Sagittarius X feel about Sagittarius? How does Sagittarius X feel about Sagittarius? <laughs> I'm laughing because Sagittarius, y'all. <laughs> y'all are something else. Okay. Sagittarius, let's see. Bottom of the deck, guys, we have the star card. So this, oh, wow. <laughs> okay, we got the star. This is why I say that y'all motherfuckers are something else. Because we got the star card, the ten of swords, and the lovers. So it's like hoping that a relationship has ended. This is like hoping, having hope that a relationship has ended. So let's see what's going on. Someone took a leap or a leap of someone was moving too fast. Someone was moving too fast or someone told had felt the need to tell the truth or speak their truth. I feel like some of you guys could have been done with the Aries, but someone had to tell the truth. Someone had to speak their truth. How they feel 
they feel like there is a decision that needs to be made. They feel like there needs to be some type of decision. Some of you guys could be dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, because we got the King of Swords here. And we got the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It's like, it's like, make a decision. Do you... They feel like either you need to make a decision or they have to make a decision. Maybe they have two different people here because I'm getting two different male energies here. Someone has two options here, especially here with that two of wands. The two of wands, this is saying I can go this way or I can go that way. And then with two different male energies here, king of pentacles and the king of swords, this is like someone has a decision to make between two people. How they feel about reconciling with you? Sagittarius, we got the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Cups and the Temperance card. So I feel like they are having some type of regrets. Maybe they're having like financial, maybe it has something to do with financial. Or some of you guys are dealing with the uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But I do feel like they want to find some balance and some peace in this situation or some healing. They're having some type of regrets. They're looking over the past. And they do possibly have, have some type of regrets that they want to heal from the best course of action to take for you guys we have the ace of cups and the seven of wands and the magician the ace of cups pisces cancer scorpio's energy but this is like new love or and i do feel like the best thing for you guys also to do is to guard your emotions guard your heart because we got the seven of wands here seven of wands is saying that you're standing your ground you know, you're not backing down. I feel like there's, there's also is like telling me that like there's obstacles in the way. And I feel like it has something to do with your emotions. Uh, I feel like you need to guard your emotions. Okay. I feel like that's the best thing for you to do right now is to possibly think more logically and not um, to, to focus on the emotional side when it comes to your ex. But I do feel like if you guys are wanting to reconcile, because I do feel like they're having regrets and they're looking over the past. So I feel like they do want to balance some type of things out with you. But I feel like you need to guard your emotions and you need to guard your guard your heart. Like you can stand up for yourself and defend yourself, but I feel like it's it's a certain way of doing things. Like, I feel, I'm saying, like, don't show too much emotion. It's definitely is what I'm getting. I feel like they may try to manipulate your emotions. We've got the magician here. Why is the magician here? Yeah, we got seven of cups. So this is confusion. This is, like, making you feel confused. So I, I do feel like you guys... If they were to reach out or you were to reach out, because I do feel like they, they want to balance some things out with you. I feel like just guard your emotions. Guard your feelings. Because it's kind of like, I'm sensing like making you feel confused. Like, I'm getting like spell work. That's what I'm getting. It's not that they actually like, I'm not saying like they put a spell on you. But I'm sensing like with the magician and the seven of cups. The magician is the magician. And the seven of cups is like confuse, confuse you. Something to confuse you. So it's like, I'm just sensing like, just be careful with your emotions when it comes to this person. All right, guys. So I hope this reading was helpful for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this read, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave me a comment. If you guys like this, then I'll incorporate this into my... Um, into my monthlies. So um, I hope I thought I think I told you guys to check out um, February's monthlies. All of the signs are up, so you can take a look at those videos. You can also look at your moon rising and your Venus signs. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in with me. I will see you guys later. Ciao for now.